Okay, coming around. Hi everybody. Let's get where I'm supposed to stand. I have this kind of area that I know I need to stand in because I'm looking right at you. Okay, I'm going to make lemonade lounger soap today, which is a blend of essential oils. So I'm using Howard, patchouli and Litsia Cubiba, or Mei Chang if you prefer. And this soap, I just uh, throw everything into the mould and wherever it ends up, like each section ends up, it ends up and I don't mess with it too much. So the beauty is pour pouring it and letting it just do its own thing. So I'm going to use some vanilla pods. The only ones I've got left because at the moment there's a shortage or there will be a shortage or the price is going to I think it said 400% on the news yesterday because obviously Madagascar have had some issues with this year's uh, growing season or last year's growing season so vanilla pods are going to be ridiculous so they're saying that we won't get vanilla ice cream this year. Uh, now I'm going to use some Rassel clay as well whereas normally I use dead sea mud but I haven't got any dead sea mud powder. So I'm going to use Russell powder, which will give me the same effect. So I'll bring you in and we'll get and chit chat about what I'm doing. Okay, first thing I need to do is measure out my essential oil. So, okay, that's it. So there's Mei Chang, patchouli and Howard. Mm. It smells like lemons and earthy sort of so get my phone out of the way get that out of the way so i've got you on my wider angle lens today so you might be able to see a little bit more of this table and then i'll bring you in closer if i feel like i need to so we're going to start by putting on some goggles Stick blending to a very light trace. So I just need to break up that cocoa butter in there. Okay. In goes my lye solution. Okay, so we were a light kind of trace. I'm going to add my essential oils now. And these are all non-accelerating essential oils so we just give that a nice mix without stick blending for the moment so the dead sea well this rassle clay not the dead sea mode because i haven't got that rassle clay and the vanilla pods i just leave i don't like blend them into the soap because as i chuck all this in it just goes in as it is, and wherever it lands up, it lands up. So, you know, I try and get it sort of pretty central to where I want it. So, I'm going to do my colours. And here I have some yellow oxide, which I've not used on its own for quite some time. I just want a bit of that and about the same amount again of white. I'm not going to stick blend that white just yet because it thickens up too fast but I will do the yellow. So it's like an orangey turmeric colour. Move those things. Eat my lead. I need spoon. I'm just gonna stir the white for a moment. So probably won't need to stick blend that right now. That's all right actually as it is. So I'm going to get to pouring this and just make sure you can see. Okay, now we're on a pretty low battery, so I need to uh, work relatively fast. But that's good because this is a fast made soap. So, I'm going to... Now oh, white's starting to thicken already. Get this base, throw it in, get some yellow. Throw it in, let it do its thing, get some white, 
throw it in. <laughs> you get the picture. Okay. Rassle. More so base. It's just quite interesting what kind of uh, swirls you end up with when you do this. You just don't have to do anything to it, which is great. A bit more of that. top we'll just take some more of this that we've got left now sometimes when I cut these you, you sort of end up with the most amazing swirls and people are like how have you done that and you, you're like hmm if only you knew <laughs> it just depends what comes out and that's the beauty part of soaping like this it's just like it's so fast and so effective that sometimes when I faffed about with designs I think what's a bloody point in doing that when I could have just you know thrown it in I could have just put it in there and not worried about it another thing that I really don't like and I've noticed like lots of soap makers do this but they do an intricate design inside and then put I mean I'm guilty of doing the same thing put a topping on like of white so where the design is beautiful inside so you get a butterfly swirl and then they do like you know a top on the that's like one solid block of color and that design then doesn't go all the way to the top of the soap and I've done it myself so many times and when I see soap like that I always think oh you should have kind of um you know merge the whole thing together so you're not stuck with a block of one color at the top of the soap like let the swirl then go all the way to the top so this this way of doing it is a really good way of getting that so you get a design all the way to the top of the soap without that blocky look with one I mean I'm getting really picky now you know that is being picky but um it's just it I've done it so many times myself and it's really bothered me and I see other people do it and I think don't do that like try and incorporate your top somehow into the rest of the soap rather than it looking like it it, sh it doesn't belong there then <laughs> honestly nothing matters at all does it but um it's little pet peeves like that and I just think oh that would have been a bit better had the design gone all the way to the top of the bar and that's just me being incredibly picky and stupid So on goes the rest of the rassle, like that. And then I'm going to just take my gloves off and get my vanilla pods and just take my gloves off a sec because I need to see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to sort of try and get one on the top of each soap because I don't want to cut this and end up with chunks missing out the side of a bar if you see what I mean I've done that before with this one and I like to get a vanilla pod on the top of each one but not inside and that's the mistake I've made in the past so it just looks really ugly and like when you get great big gouges out of the center of the soap is what I mean I don't like it so just to make sure that that ain't gonna happen today so there we go so you can see so the design is so random and yes yes it is shoes up the rest so whoever buys this remember the price of these vanilla pods you could probably sell um, just a little piece of vanilla for a hundred pounds <laughs> on eBay <laughs> getting so ridiculous isn't it I wonder what happened it could it's probably just been a bad season for the weather or something like that who knows yeah, where are we gonna put that last one up there okay now 
Now I'm just going to swirly swirly just ever so slightly around the top just so we've got some kind of swirl not anything too drastic because it's all going to like I said do it for itself but I do want to just take some of those chunky bits and make them into a kind of swirl without bothering the top too much. I don't want a peak top or anything. It'll be alright just as it is. Bit of that through there. Bit of that through there. Okay, that'll do. So I'm going to take some pictures for you. So you can see a nice close-up of this and then I'll be back tomorrow to cut it. So I'll see you that one is going on this way. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everybody. I'm just going to cut lemonade lounger. So I just got in from a long dog walk. A very nice one too. I got woke up with a headache, like a pounding headache. So I took two tablets before I left. Um to go on a walk and the fresh air has like really helped but I've got one of those fuzzy heads today it's probably just from the stress of the week I feel fine in myself it's just uh, I think this is what happens to your body when you uh, have been a bit worried and stressed out it's like it, I always get headaches like stress headaches so that's all it is so let's get this cut in two logs it's looking really nice Cut in the right way. So I've got my little doggy with me again this morning. She's going to be with me for a few hours. Look at that inside. And then I'm going to pack some orders and then I think I might go home earlier today because I've got a couple of YouTube videos to edit and get uploaded. And We've also started our garden. We're going to put some grass in our garden because it's just been slapped. Like years ago when I worked at the nursery, our garden was absolutely full of plants and flowers and I loved it like that. But um, we changed it um, to make it sort of less hassle because we grew a load of jungle plants years ago, which got really, really big. And our garden's like a backyard. It's really small. So... Um, I said we better slab it just so we've got less hassle because we've become so busy with work and stuff like working for ourselves and Matt doesn't work for himself now but at the time he did um so we wanted it a bit simpler and easier to look after but now we want a little haven that we can come back to every day again and our garden's so tiny but we can still have what we want so we're going to have a border on one side of all the plants that we want and then on the other side, we're going to have a patch of grass because the dog loves grass and likes lying on the grass. So that's what we plan to do. So we've started the uh, messy task of taking up the cement and getting rid of that. So we're going to finish doing that tomorrow. And then we're going to buy some grass seed and start to uh, plant it out, lay the seed down and Cording it off so the dog can't get on there and let it do its thing, basically. So, the garden's a right old mess. So that's what I want to do this afternoon, is try and maybe clear up a bit. So tomorrow, the, we won't have too much hassle. Right, so let's get this cut. So yeah, we'll have a nice little garden late summer, so uh, that'll be nice. We can't really sit out there at the moment because it's just such a mess. Ooh, that mur that uh, rattle's coming up on the top, that's okay. Okay, so that's a bit crumbly. It's probably just from the discount that I did and the, the uh, rattle, it'll be fine otherwise. So, as you can see what we did yesterday, letting it do its thing. You end up with all kinds of uh, different designs and swirls all throughout the soap. So that's why I like this. There's no effort been put into uh, 
creating a design that's just going to do it by itself and sometimes I'm really like you know I really work hard to get this kind of design <laughs> when actually you don't need to if you want to just throw it in you can throw it in and you end up with a really nice swirl anyway so let's cut another one to see what we got so each log will be completely different because like I said it's just gone wherever it wants to go We've got that lovely vanilla pod on the top, which is worth a fortune. <laughs> I did actually look up vanilla pods last night on eBay, so I thought I'll grab some while uh, the iron's hot. <laughs> and they haven't all um, been sold. And I can pick up about, I don't know, two, I think two pods worth a few quid or whatever. So I'll just grab them. It's like very rare that I use actual vanilla pod, but even buying like Vanilla pod powder is going to end up being expensive. Oh, hang on. Can't go through the centre of that one. Let me just take that off. There we go. Sorry, there's one I didn't want it to drag all the way through the soap there, so I've just taken it off. So, yeah, vanilla pod powder I used to buy, and, like, actual vanilla seeds, but those are going to be expensive as well. So, ooh, it's a bit of a nightmare. going to tidy up here and I'll be back for the next video so hope to see you later